Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel. And in the video today, we're looking at why Swiss cheese has holes. The holes come from a byproduct of some of the microbes added to milk to make Swiss cheese. Specifically, there are three primary types of bacteria that are typically used to make Swiss cheese. These can vary slightly depending on the manufacturer. These are Streptococcus thermophilus, Lactobacillus helveticus, and Propionibacterium shamani. The first two types of microbes produce significant amounts of lactic acid, which is, in turn, consumed by the latter type of microbes, Propionibacterium shamani. It is this Propionibacterium bacterium shimani that is responsible for the holes in Swiss cheese. Through the process of consuming the lactic acid, the shimani produces acetate, propionic acid, and carbon dioxide as a byproduct. The acetate and propionic acid give the Swiss cheese much of its distinct flavor, while the carbon dioxide forms bubbles within the cheese block or wheel. These carbon dioxide bubbles are left in as the cheese continues to ferment rather than pressing them out, which gives Swiss cheese its distinctive holes. Historically, however, these holes were seen as an imperfection in the cheese, and most manufacturers would try to avoid them by pressing this type of cheese during the aging process to force the bubbles out and keep the cheese solid throughout the block or wheel. And now for a bonus fact. The size of the holes in Swiss cheese sold in the United States is regulated by the US government. This is widely criticized by many Swiss cheese manufacturers outside of the US, particularly in Switzerland, which tend to produce their cheese in a non-factory environment. The reason for the protest is that the size of the holes is regulated by varying the curing time, acidity, and temperature during the fermentation process, which typically lasts from 60 to 100 days. These changes, however, will also significantly affect the texture and flavor of the cheese itself. Many foreign Swiss cheese manufacturers claim that the regulations put forth by the American government produce an inferior flavored Swiss cheese, hence the protest. The US government created these regulations at the behest of commercial American Swiss cheese producers, who were having problems with their mechanical slicers cutting cheese when the Swiss cheese holes were too big. Typically, sizes of the holes used to be around the size of a nickel. Rather than innovate or upgrade their equipment, they went with the age-old practice of simply lobbying the government to make laws to fix their problem. Namely, to specify that, in order for Swiss cheese to be classified as grade A, which is generally necessary for high-volume sales in the United States, it must have holes no bigger than three-eighths of an inch, which was about half the typical size before these new regulations were put in place. This also significantly shortens the aging time of North American-style Swiss cheese, which also benefits the American mass producers of the cheese. So I really hope you found that video interesting. Hopefully we answered a question for you. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also over there on the right, a couple of other videos that you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thanks for watching.